Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Game number one between Wolfram and Bratva. Wolfram is in Sentinel side, Scourge side, Bratva team. So let's see how it will go. As you can see right here, Wolfram is first already. Bratva, if they win, it will not change anything because TMZ and Old Robbers playing next match. So what we can say, it is only for fun, probably because already first place for Wolfram. But let's see, maybe Bratva can at least show good performance for entertaining audience in YouTube. Let's see how it goes. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Smash the like on video. Don't forget, guys, to like and also to subscribe. Subscribe on Balthazar Games channel. I will upload all games from tournament on my second channel, Balthazar Games. Tiny Viper band so far. Pretty common bands. Omni Knight band as well. I would love to see Omni Knight sometimes picked instead of band. I don't know why no one wants to pick it. I think negative form could actually pick maybe. I mean not pick, but he should maybe leave Omni Knight. He should not ban it because Bratva team could ban it instead. So they could get chance to pick if they do not ban it. So I think they should not ban. I think Omni Knight is very strong and if you have first pick, like you can see right now, Bratva team, sorry, Wolfram team, Wolfram team is in Sentinel side, okay, Scourge side, Bratva team. So if uh, Wolfram team wants to play Omni Knight, they can, they can go for first pick right now here. If you have first pick, you have advantage to pick strong hero like Omni. One second to post story that we are alive. Alash first pick, okay. Zeus, do we see Spectra there? Many times Zeus Spectra in this tournament so far. Thank you, Tamara. Tamara, say hello, please. Hello. <laughs> Tamara, professional maker. Let's go. Weaver. Weaver is not played so many times. Okay, negative form taking more time to pick. I would love to see also some new heroes that we didn't see on tournament so far, like Bounty Hunter, Bounty Hunter, maybe, maybe even Azalor. Okay, Troll will be there.
Tide Hunter is not picked even once. Bristleback is not picked also. A roof. I'm not sure why nobody wants to pick roof. A roof is insane hero. Maybe in team play, but still, man, he can ulti five heroes, which is insane. He can heal, he can also throw third skill, so you protect your towers, which is very strong spell. A roof is not banned. I don't know if people don't know this. A roof is not banned and still people do not pick it. Spectra and Sniper will be banned. Okay, Kunk as well. Storm. Trax is still there. We could see Trax on both sides. Larder, okay. We could see next maybe tracks if they want to go for like aura damage, revenge, and also tracks in Sentinel side. Slarder is great fit with tracks. We saw yesterday a lot of damage coming from tracks with Slarder combo. Even Rosh can be killed very fast. Okay, Bratva team. What will they go for? They need carry still. Same like uh, Wolfram team. Both teams need carry right now. Okay, Kalok will be played. I think Clockwork is one of the most used heroes in early game to make kills. And I think this hero made the most kills in like 5 minutes. Okay, so when... Void will be banned and what will be last pick here for Bratva team, I'm really curious to see. They banned Phoenix. Mort maybe.
a life stealer, okay. Nice combo with clockwork, by the way. Okay, Pagna last pick, I love it. Now they can push towers even. Okay, nobody picked heroes yet. Okay, top lane Slarder will go triple lane, I think. Pagna Slarder and Trau. So bot lane Leshrak against Necro. Okay, that will be interesting lane. Also top lane, I think also it should be interesting. Triple versus triple. Let's see rune fight. Okay, clock will go aggressive, I guess. Stun from Slardar, Lifestealer, low HP, also clock. Clock is a target, I can tell. Also, Lifestealer will go down first. Okay, even clock in danger, he will go down. Thrall died, also Pagna, two versus two kills for both teams, and Slardar will go down as well. Nope, he will be fine. And. Zeus almost died. Are under First skill from Weaver is super strong on a level 1. Okay, top lane. The player's forces are under attack. Sven is really low on mana, so the problem is always there for him to throw that stun. Yeah. 
Okay, Leshak level 3, he can be now aggressive on Necro because Necro is level 2, man, he's chasing him like... Oh. oh, he dodged the stun. Actually, Leshak missed the stun. He could take that kill if he didn't miss. Necro level 3 right now. He should be more safer right now with level 3. Thanks to his healing. Oof, okay. Lashak. Lashak is low on mana by the way. A town is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. Okay, bot lane. Oh, Lashrak will die. Nice rotation from Zeus. There is no word from Lashrak on bot lane. He didn't know that Zeus is coming top lane. Lifestealer is dying. Slardar will go down. No. Yep. Now Weaver will go down as well. A few more hits needed. One more hit. Nice stun from Lashrak, but still he's low HP and Clock will be dead. At least Lashrak took kill. Five kills for both sides. Okay. Fast kill from Zeus. Brata team leading right now in term of kills. Zeus is coming top, okay, this could be dangerous. Ulti from Zeus taking kill on Sven. A lot of mana, Zeus, by the way. Okay, they want to go for Thrall. Oof, he's low HP. Now Slarder. Okay, he will be fine thanks to first kill. Movement speed is crazy on Slarder. Nice play from Bratva so far, they are doing great job in ganking. then nice another kill for Zeus life stealer one more hit Tral cannot catch him now Tral even will go down man lots of damage coming from Zeus
Oof, almost missed and now there is no mana from Lash. Necro has enough mana for heal. A player's forces are under attack. Okay, now there is chance for Lasha to take kill finally on Necro. Solo kill. Forces are under attack. Okay, Troll in danger. Nice ult from Swan. He can go for life stealer. Okay, one more hit, plus one. Ah, oh, even Weaver. Oh, he will die. Thanks to Ward from Pagna. Zeus taking more kills on Slarder. And now even Leshak in trouble. There is no mana on Lash. Beautiful play. This is the best part, you don't get any healing from first killer with Necro. Pagna destroyed Necro actually. Okay, Troll in big trouble. Oh, he will go down. Okay, Stick is there. Okay, if there is no mana on Zeus for ulti, he has arcane very soon. Pagna will go down. A last hit for a Weaver. Under siege. So far it is looking good for Bratva team, I have to say. They are doing great job. Bratva team finding opening for kills, 17 kills, it's really a lot a in 10 minutes. Attack. Okay, even Troll now in trouble thanks to his uh, ulti from Zeus. A rocket actually. Oh, Zeus finding Troll. Okay, now even Swen in trouble. He has armor. Okay, ulti on Necro. And Necro will go down. Nice play from Swen. There is mana for Sun, and finally Zeus will go down. Swan late Arnett, and he is dead. Oh, damn. Nice stun, beautiful play. No mana on Leshrak. No mana on Leshrak, and actually, Weaver will survive. Damn. 
Damn, man. I want to say, guys, so far it is going great for Bratva, but now Wolfram finding a little bit of kills. Important one. Zul's kill was very big kill for Sven right now. He has how much gold? Okay, he has armlet and madness. Armlet and madness at 12 minutes is actually very good. I think when you see Slardar on Slardar pick, you should go for Clockwork, so you can scout Rosh every time. I think that should be the strategy. Because Rosh could come anytime when Slardar is in the game. Okay, nice return, and now one stun, second stun, and Necro is dead. Nice combo. Three heroes, fast gank. Ward from Pagna is also very strong against Zeus. The town is under siege. A life stealer does not have any items yet, only boots. Armat should be finished very soon. A player's forces are under attack. Small gank is coming. A town is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. Town is under siege. Okay, one sec. A player's force is under attack. Okay, sorry guys, one minute TFK. Who died? Slarder? Yeah. Slarder actually died. Okay, guys. A so a plane action is happening. So when can he go for a clock? One. Oh my God. Now it's very hard to stop Swen so with Armet and Menace. Ulti from Zeus, not taking kill on Swen. Nice Juke with Armet. Players' forces are under attack. Okay. Oof! Nice hold from Slar from Clockwork on Slarder, and now. Slardar will go down very fast. Lashrak is coming up from behind. Thrall. Ulti from Thrall. Oh, Necro is dead. Okay, even Clock will go down here. Weaver should be fine. Sven does not have blink yet. Okay, Rosh time maybe. Nope. It's not coming. Slardar is actually dead. So they do not want to attempt uh, Rosh without Slardar. Is Sven coming top lane? Okay, he didn't scare him, man. He tried, but Lifestealer did not get scared. He 
he tried to bait Rage from uh, Snikes. Okay, okay, stun will miss, life stealer. Slaughter died. Even Trowl. Low HP, Sven. Smart move going back for Sven because it could be disaster. Pagna, Ward. is not placed. Nice combo, man. Beautiful play from Lashrak and Sven. Okay, Ward is placed. Oof. Zeus low HP already. Man, everybody dying. Look at this. Lashrak and Pagna killing everybody. Triple kill. Oh my god, man. Even Weaver is almost dead. There is, there is no range. Oh! He is not throwing. Oh, there is no man on Pagna. Nice ultra kill. What a play there. I love combo Lashrak and Pagna really strong. That ward destroyed everyone. Ward from Pagna destroyed everyone basically. Okay, Rosh now is happening. Slarder will come. Lock. Now throwing rocket not on Rosh. Sad. A rocket from Clockwork and now Rosh will fall. There is no mana from Sven. Slard are getting closer to blink. Okay, they cancelled, I mean, they baited Rage from Lifestealer. There is no BKB on Sven, but I think they definitely can fight right now with Aegis. Slardar getting closer to Blink, they sold TPs for Blink. Okay, Blink now on Slardar is big item. Under siege. Okay. Oh, Swan falling really fast, man. He's dead with his ulti. 
Unstoppable. Okay, double kill, but Pagan is dead now. Sven also falling really fast. Damn. Double kill. Oh, he missed stun. Stun is very important. Lasha cannot afford to to waste stun, man. Bad fighting. Very bad fighting. Sven jumped first and he died first, basically. I think you should not initiate with Sven, even with Aegis, because if you die with your ulti, if you are playing Sven and you die with your ulti, you do not have another ulti to cast after your respawn with Aegis. So definitely somebody else should initiate, like maybe Slardar should go first. Also they need wards for... Okay, now wards being bought, I think. Yeah, Thrall with four wards. They should place wards probably before attacking. Attack Sven entered Fog without any vision, like. And then he was nuked. Also, BKB on Sven is a must item. Okay, nice time from Slardar. A little clock will go fast down. Zeus with Daganim's Necroblade mill. Oof. Even Leshrak died. It's not looking good right now for for Wolfram. They're fighting without your their team. BKB is coming, I think. Okay. Oh, Sven being spotted right here, I think. Yep, rocket is flying. Oh, he's in trouble. A late hook from Clock, and now Sven will be safe. But Slardar not. Sven is trying to finish BKB. He's very close. Life stealer with Sanji. Player's forces are under attack. A town is under siege. forces are under attack okay BKB is flying right now I think Sven is ready to fight with his team, let's see how it goes. Life stealer. I don't know if he's trying to finish Sanjin Yash or something like that. I don't think so. Maybe. 
Maybe Basher he wants to buy now. Jump from Slardar and now Necro is dead. There is no buyback from Necro. Oh, Sven will die. Nice play from Weaver. First skill from Weaver is insane. Man, it stopped Sven for like 2-3 seconds until he kills Swarms. Like, really annoying spell for Sven. Also, Necro lost half HP while killing Necro. Sven lost a lot of HP and that means like... Even with BKB you will die still. He should use BKB instantly I think when he jumped on Necro so he can save his HP. Right now it is even game 29-33. In terms of kills, in terms of towers... There is advantage for Wolfram team. Lashak with pipe, very good item, especially in this game against Zeus. A player's forces are under attack. Yeah, Lysteller went for Bash because he must stop attacks from Sven. And Sven should probably also get maybe Bash before any other item. Okay, Rosh spawned right now. That will be next big fight around Rosh, I guess. Ward is placed. Agna has heart and also Aganims. Okay, Lashra going. Oh my god. Swan died from Nike solo. Everybody dying right now. And Bratva dominating the fight. Zeus will. Almost okay, he's dead. One man alive. He's not alive anymore. Man, bad fighting, really bad fighting for Wolfram and Bratva team did great job staying back and attacking perfectly attack. on counter. This game could go like very long because right now Wolfram team is losing advantage, by the way. Okay, 
Okay. Nice stun. Nice kill on Necro, big kill. There is no Necro right now, so they could go for Rosh maybe now. A player's forces are under attack. A town is under siege. Okay, they want to push instead, they do not want to to go for Rosh. And by the way, Necro has buyback. Necro has gold for buyback, okay? Maybe they are baiting the Necro buyback and then they will go back. A player's forces are under attack. The town is under siege. Okay, very interesting choice to push because okay, they want to focus towers. The armor is there, man. Okay, last shot being in trouble. Nice Yule Scepter and now Nikes is dead. Clock is dead. Nice play this time. Sran low HP. Ulti from Zeus. Weaver taking last hit. Pagna destroying Necro. Lashak is dead. Even Weaver is dead. Pagna dominating fight. Okay, Rex will fall. Nice play from Pagna, definitely. Item choice. Card. Very interesting. That's a lot of gold for Pagna. Okay, Rosh is coming, I guess, next. A player's forces are under attack. Okay, Sven just bite critical. The crystal is actually okay. A player's forces are under attack. Okay. They won't pause for for a second. A player's forces are under attack. Okay, let's go. Double ulti from Zeus. Man, everybody dying, but Swan with BKB slicing the life stealer. Oh, even Necro is dead. Swan turned off armor. He basically killed himself. Only one alive, Pagna in Wolfram team. And I think that's what needs Bratva team to do. They must attack first. If Zeus can throw ulti, Clock can go in, and then then they can fight. If they wait, if they wait for push, most of the time they will lose fight because once Thrall throw ulti on you, you cannot do anything. No silence. You are silenced. You don't have any 
spells to use and then you're in trouble. Also, if Sven jumps on you, you're pretty much dead. I think Pagna should go maybe even for BKB in this game. Against Zeus Clock, BKB would be beautiful. Okay, he will go for Shiva maybe. A player's forces are under attack. Shiva also can be good. Against Weaver, against Lifestealer. But Lincoln can save from Necro. But Zeus can remove your Lincoln. I don't know. BKB I would prefer because BKB can stop Zeus. BKB can stop also Necro, so. Rosh is still there, no one is attacking Rosh. And Refresher is on cooldown for Zeus, I think, yeah. Timing for fighting should be right now for Wolfram team, and they are winning. Oh, Swan being spotted here. If somebody jumps, he's in trouble, man. He's walking under the world. Very dangerous situation. Oh, double stun from Sven. Can he nuke? Oh, late BKB a little bit. And now Sven is dead. Man, bad fighting for Sven. He's not using combo with Slardar. And now even Slardar is dead. And also, Lifestealer has disarm. It will be very difficult for, for Sven to kill Lifestealer lately. Late in the game. And now there is no blink on Pagna. Oh, Pagna in trouble, man. Okay, nice play from Pagna. Can he take kill on a life stealer, maybe? Yep. Troll is dead. Pagna is dead. Five heroes dead right now. A player's forces are under attack. Okay, Rosh should fall right now in hands of Bratva team. Bratva is coming back, 49 kills they have. Mid lane being pushed by the way. Oh, this is not looking good for Bratva, man. Somebody must defend. Man, tower will be destroyed. Life stealer with ages. A player's forces are under attack. A town is under siege. Player's forces are under attack. Players' forces are under attack. Troll wants to finish Aghanim's capture, which will be very useful in game. He needs 300 more gold. But next push is coming now from Bratva team. 
top lane now. Instead of defending, uh, Wolfram will push, which is also not bad idea. Okay, now Brat will actually defend. Oh, Sven. There is no BKB on Lashark, by the way. Oh my god, Lashark died. Oh, damn. Oh my god. Oh, Sven staying alive. He's dead now. Pagna killing Clock. Now Life Stealer could go down as well. Slardar is dead. No mana on, on Pagana, man. Oh, no mana, man. <laughs> Damn. Really. Pagna is doing great job in fights so far, but his team is not really. Alashrak died first for nothing there. He stayed out of position. He, he was nuked. Man, the longest game goes. Who who will think, guys? Swan or Life Stealer in late game, in super late game, like 60 minutes, full items. What do you think? Who can win, Swan or Life Stealer? Swan or Life Stealer? Right now, I don't know. Right, guys, write in comments. What do you think? I have to say, without Bash, it will be hard for Swan to kill. Life stealer, you can watch my first game in tournament or second game actually. I think second match actually. Second match I played Sven versus Life Stealer and I bought I bought a Beazle Blade against Life Stealer and I pretty much killed him every time. But you must initiate first on Life Stealer. He must use smart spells. Okay, he's going aggressive now. There is there is Ghost Captor, man. You cannot do this. This is not public game. It is tournament match. Now everybody... Okay, we'll, we'll go top lane. There is still Ward. I don't know why there is no sentries from Thrall. He should be Ward also. Oof, Thrall almost died. There is actually Refresh from Zeus. He could use actually... Refresh and kill maybe Troll, but he didn't want to waste. Actually, Troll would, Troll would be actually alive. Damn, Troll died. Nice hook from Flock. There is no blink from Pagna, he is in danger there. Okay, everybody should be fine. Oh, Zeus has ulti, maybe. Oh, Zeus has ulti, man, I think. I'm not sure if he used refresh. He used already refresh, so he does not have... A player's forces are under attack. Mid lane being destroyed. Maybe Crips can finish this game. Maybe Crips. If Bratva team get a little bit distracted, Crips could finish game.
I don't see good fighting from Wolfram team. They are not playing synchronized. Always one guy die first and then they are keep fighting with one last guy. So that's the main problem in this game for them. And for Bratva team, they need to like find big kills. So far they did great job with finding big kills, but still they need to do some action after this. Bratva team take kills and they go back, keep farming and like keep defending. You cannot win game if you just defend. You must go also push. You must destroy towers. Okay, now they are gathering mid lane. Now they will go maybe and take some action. By the way, Life Stealer is farmed now really a lot. He could go for Curious if he wants to wait. I mean to use gold and not save it for buyback. He will need one. 1700 gold for buyback so he must like save if if life stealer dies and he does not have buyback this is a gg mid lane can be pushed and then it is gg so that i think that should be strategy for wolfram team also to chase solo kills i mean not solo kills to chase big kills on life stealer if he can die maybe two times that's huge Necro with Tagan is really strong right now. Weaver, Desolator. And also Lincoln, really nice. Zeus with Bloodstone. He's full of mana. A refresher. Ragan is Swan with Buriza. Now he has Basher. But man, Swan is entering fight first. That's that is a really big problem. If he is focused first, he cannot close any kills. Necro can use ulti and stop him for one second at least, one and a half second. And even on BKB, so... Also there is a Beazle Blade from Lifestealer, he can stun him also, he can bash him. And if he is focused, if Sven is focused, no chance for Sven to deal any damage. And he is the biggest damage dealer in Wolfram team. Okay, okay, move is happening right now. Oh my god, he missed. Ulti from nice ulti from Thrall and this is opening now for Wolfram. Everybody dying. There is no gold for Life Stealer to buy back. This is basically Swan died. Oh my God, Swan died, man. Top lane Rex should fall definitely. There is no buyback. I, I was speaking about buyback, man. He used all gold to buy Curious and he died. So there is no gold for buyback and now Rex will fall. If there was buyback, he could defend now. And now even Zeus in trouble, man. He will go down as well. Damn. Okay, he buyback now. Life stealer. 50 seconds. Sven just buyback, okay. Nice ulti from Tral, I have to say. He made fight beautiful for his team. Oh, double ulti from Clock. Tral is dead and now Lashrak. He will die as well. Ulti from Necro, 100 seconds without Lashrak. I don't know why Sven buyback, by the way. It wasn't really necessary. A player's forces are under attack. There is now a lot of work from Wolfra, from Bratva team to defend base. Like a lot of creeps pushing right now. They need to stay in base, defend, and it's very hard to push right now. Even to take Rosh is very hard because you must always defend lane. So that's the main problem. The player's forces are under attack.
Warrior's forces are under attack. Trees and ages. Players' forces are under attack. Lane. I mean, Slar are jumping aggressive on Weaver. He has Lincoln, so he cannot be tracked. Players' forces are under attack. He has also Age. Uh, he has Cheese also. Age is in hands of Necro. Okay, Necro can spawn two times. Very big. And right now, push is coming from Wolfram, man. It is very dangerous move at this situation because there is there is Aegis cheese in hands of Bratva. Also, Refresher is ready on cooldown. Very dangerous play. Man, they are coming from behind. This could be wipe out from from Bratva team. I mean from Wolfram team. Okay, they are jumping on Zeus already. Ulti from Zeus. Okay, what is happening here? Where is Sven, man? Sven dying from Life Stealer, man. Necro died, Trowel died, Necro respawned. Oh, Life Stealer. Oh, he will go down. Pagna staying alive. Man, wipe out from, uh, from Wolfram team. I was speaking about the wipe out, man, and I predicted. Because it was very dangerous. You must know what, when you have power to find, fight and when you do not have it. It's very dangerous play, this what they're doing. They need to find strategy to to start fight. Also, observer wards not being used right now. There is two charges and nobody's placing wards like here, maybe here. You must see like your enemy. You must have vision on your enemy if you want to fight. And now they are being pushed. And situation in this kind of games when one team is actually killing two Rex and they are now losing uh, fights for them situation to win is after they die like five heroes after they die on bot lane like they did just now they have chance now to defend on high ground and now they have better chance to win fight so if they can win this fight then they can go and finish the game on mid lane so this is what happens most of the game But as you can see, Bratva team will not joke and they will just go back. In my opinion, it is good move. If you don't want just go to go straight on mid lane and push, you must like test patience of your enemy. You must like stay around and wait for some kills like a tiger, okay, like a lion. You just wait and uh, wait until someone goes out of position. For example, right now, look at this. Lashak, Slard are too deep. If there is a ward, somebody can jump on them. Okay, they will jump instead and they are in trouble now. Look at this. Slard are solo jump, man. No patience for fighting next and now he's dead. Oof, cheese. Saved Necro, man. And ulti from Necro on Sven. Not going to kill him. Sven almost died. Zeus. Okay, Sven entered the fight. Oh, Thrall saved. Basically, he saved Life Stealer. This is a disaster. 
Leshrak died. Pagna will go down as well. Four heroes alive. There is buyback from three heroes. Okay, they want to fight more. Triple stun now. Oh, this is chance. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. And now Necro is dead as well. And this is what I'm telling you. Once you die here, like fighting position for for the game will change. It will not be anymore around your enemy base. It will be around your base because your team died. And because even though they died all here, Wolfram team died here. But they buy back and they are close to the fight. They can come close here and then they can kill him one more time. So that's why you have advantage when you are fighting near your base. When you are fighting near your base, you can buy back and you can enter fight one more time. And for example, if you fight here and you want to buy back, like you buy back, how do you come here? No chance. If you don't have travel, you cannot come here. So that is why you have advantage if you are fighting near your base. That's why I said, guys, sometimes it's not bad if you die, if you push and die. Because you will you will taunt your enemy to come and to fight under your, like, under your base. Which is happening one more time, look at this. If Lifestealer die one more time, I think he used buyback for this. Yeah, he used buyback. If Lifestealer die, this is GG. He's too deep right now. They are going too deep. Without any strategy, they just want to go and to fight. Very dangerous play right now from Bradford. Let's see how it goes. Sixty minutes game. This is the longest game on tournament so far. The longest game, guys. So make sure to like, smash the like, everybody. A player's forces are under attack. Okay, look at this actually right now. Oh my god, Wolfram is pushing. They should hide maybe and try to find kills instead of just going straight to the push. Look at this. In this life stealer, man. Somebody will die first. Somebody will die first and fast. There is Hex on Pagna, but... Oh, Thrall. Thrall has Ghost, but he will be first target, man. Nice salty from Zeus. Okay. Nice double kill from Sven this time and Lifestealer left the game. There is no buyback on Sven if he dies. Oh, very dangerous play. Nice kill. And now even Zeus. Oh, Sven died. Okay, Zeus died, but he has buyback. He had a lot of charges, he would spawn. Beaver is alive. Life still left the game, man. What the hell? Man, why do you leave the game? It's still not over. Life still left the game. Okay, Zeus cannot now defend two lanes, that's the big problem, and we could see Mega Creeps coming. is that this is now GG game number one will be in hands of Wolfram they won after 60 minutes game man the longest game on tournament man macro killing Lash man Pagna has more damage than Slardar GG 
GG game number one in hands of Wolfram. Really nice play. What to say? Let's see game number two, guys. Uh, let me just update score. 1-0 for Wolfram. Let's go.